cooking outside again and we're doing a salmon dish and it's a salmon dish that the bloke who does it, which is this bloke here, Andy Allen, I've been telling you for quite a long time <laughs> that you need to jar this and sell it because I love it. What is it? It's These are my smoked salmon rillets. Um, the reason that I love it and I'm sure that the reason that you love it is because they're super tasty but they're super easy. Anyone out there can have a crack at it. You can do it the night before, toast some bread on the day and then Dinner's done. And it tastes like you put a lot more effort than you have. It's, it's full of flavour, and all you got to do is do a bit of chopping, cook some salmon, which is the easiest way to cook salmon I've ever yep. seen, um, and then you're done. So let's get started. Rightio. First thing we do is cook the salmon. Kettle's boiling. We've got two 150 gram salmon fillets in there. Yep. Boiling water straight over the top. And you can see that change colour already. So that's so cooking the salmon. So this is poaching. Poaching. We want to fully submerge it. We want to grab our old mate Glad Wrap here and cover it. So and that's the, gonna that's gonna keep all that heat in. The residual heat cooks it, doesn't yep. it? So that's slowly gonna come down in temperature. It's 100 degrees at the moment. Yep. And as that makes its way into the middle of the salmon, it's gonna cool down. So, but you're gonna cook the salmon through to the middle. So for these two, they're 150 grams each. We're gonna go 15 minutes. If you have have a 300 gram fillet, you go half an hour. So. Oh ah. yeah. I didn't oh, know that. There you go. You something? <laughs> Call me Mr. Allen. <laughs> Teacher Allen. So that's 15 minutes, and by my, my clock, this should be ready. So we'll take our glad wrap off. I'm gonna fish one out. Now peeling the skin off, this is easy. Just lifting it up, discard the skin, and then we just flake the flesh off. And that's cooked perfectly. Yeah. You could even, I mean, this is, this is a technique you could use at home when you, if you wanna poach some salmon, yeah. you could heat up some coconut cream or yeah. something. Bang that over, cover it, 15 minutes and you're done. Yeah, and I was about to say the exact same thing. You don't have to use this technique for the recipe we're about to do. Anytime you want to yeah. poach fish, it's going to work well. Even if you want to flake it like that and put it through a pasta, put it through a potato salad, it's going to be spot on. So that's our salmon. Now we just need to add the rest of the ingredients. Rightio. So we're going in with a couple of eschalots, which are really finely chopped. Yep. Two tablespoons of capers, very finely chopped. Okay. Almost minced, don't they? Yeah, we want everything really finely chopped because the texture is all about the salmon. Yeah. Uh, Benny, I'll get you. Do to something. Do a couple of lemons, Ooh. just a zest. Yep. I'm going to finely chop some dill. Dill and salmon is a classic combination. So my dill can go in. That was about half a bunch there. Now I'm going in with some smoked salmon. Now this smoked salmon is from Huon Aquaculture. Yeah. It is very, very good. It is my favourite salmon producer. Their animal husbandry is outstanding. It's a family business and the best salmon in the world, I think. So I've just roughly chopped the smoked salmon. The juice of one. You've got the kniffy. Kniffy is a knife for those people playing along at home. And Benny, if you just want to throw that creme fraiche in. Yep. The creme fraiche just basically binds it all together. So now it's as simple as giving it a fold in. You want to taste it at the end and then season from there. Yeah. I'm ready to taste. <laughs> You're chomping at the bit. You already know what this tastes like. Oh, but it's, uh, I've told you, you need a jar, you need a bottle, it is that good. <laughs> and you, just, you could put it in a jar, put it in the fridge, yep. have it on your toast in the morning, or when mates come around, if you do up some little crackers. It's perfect party food yeah. because you can do it the night before, two days before, and then just get croutons that you've done the night before or the, or the day before or on the night, we'll spread it on. Happy days. What do you reckon? Why am I still surprised? Any salt? Yeah, it's going to need a little bit. A little bit of salt. How's the, how's the, uh, the acidity? I'd, I'd, I'd go about. a little bit more lemon juice. So speaking of crustini or crackers, do you want me to get onto these bad boys? Yep, so all we've got is a couple of ciabattas sliced thinly um, and they're just going to get brushed with, with some oil and thrown on the grill. Now this is a lemon infused canola oil, so again reinforcing ingredients that Andy's already got in that rear. We just want some colour, and then we're done. So mate, we are done. Did you burn those ones? Mate, you're on bread control <laughs> the whole time. You, you told me it'd be alright if they were chopped. all that. Anyway, smoked salmon rillets, done. Pl plonk that in the middle of the board. Does it matter how? Mate, just throw them on. Them on there. This is all about taste, not about looks. I'm just going to put a couple of sprigs of dill there and a few cornichons out the front. And it might be a little chilly in Tassie, no, but I, I guarantee this is still going to go down all right. 
And you've given away your recipe, so the million dollars is gone. <laughs> but I'm glad you joined it with us. No worries, mate. I'm glad I did it here.